and we continue the journey that leads to the realization of your American dream. I'm your host, John Dye, and this is The American Contractor Show, where we explore and learn what it takes to be a successful contractor in today's world, providing you behind the scenes access to some of the best minds, tools, and companies in contracting. Join us and elevate your understanding and contracting knowledge on The American Contractor Show. Well, we're here with Alan York of Eagle View. Hey, John. Dude, Alan, it's so good to see you, man. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's nice to have you on the road and have you in Indy here at the studio. Well, I uh, haven't made a trip in over a year, so this is this is trip number one for me, and, and you were important enough for me to show up, so I, uh, <laughs> I greatly appreciate the invite. No, man, it's good to have you, and you know, this is, uh, it's been a weird year, but there's a lot of stuff happening. Everyone knows what Eagle View does as far as roofing reports. At least I hope they do. Um, and we could talk about that for hours. But I wanted to talk to you about something different because we learned a little while ago that you guys are really moving into the solar space. That's correct. Uh, we, we see that as a giant initiative uh, through 2021, but, but even uh, greater movement into that space in 2022 and beyond. Uh, we think there's a great future there for us. We think we're uniquely positioned from our core competency of, of uh, the way we capture our imagery in three dimensions um, and the ability to, to pick up all kinds of things uh, from a level of accuracy that, that most can't. So we think we're uniquely positioned for, for great growth in this area. Yeah, and that's, that's really interesting because I've, I've been – I don't know if you have Clubhouse. I don't. <laughs> So this is what kind of led me down the, the solar rabbit trail a little bit. For those of you guys that don't have Clubhouse, if you know what it is, it's basically a, it's an iPhone app that it's just talking. So people are like in there having conversations like you're at a dinner table or at a table talking about whatever subject. And there's all kinds of stuff. But early days of Clubhouse, when it first came out, I, I got in the, I got an invite from, a, from another contractor. And so I hopped on, started listening. I noticed that a lot of the conversation revolved around this solar, you know, what's going on on the solar side of things. And a lot of solar guys were taking advantage of it. And you started to make these connections with the roofing contractors. And I realized that there's a big, there's a big desire on the roofing side to get into solar. And on the solar side, we're starting to see a lot of acquisitions. Like we just saw the cornerstone acquisition that happened uh, a few weeks ago. Well, a week, well, last week that was a, uh, a solar company that came in and acquired them, which is, you know, the CEO of that company is a former roofer and owns a roofing company as well as a solar company. And so obviously there's some great, uh, there's some great synergies between the two companies or the two industries because we're all working in the same area. So solar is the natural equation um, for them. And so I want to talk a little bit though with you guys, because you guys have this new solar product because you guys are so well positioned the transition though for a roofing contractor into solar you guys are making this a lot easier we're doing our best and and the word you use synergy was was where i would go um we think that and for a few years now certainly i've believed this and and and, and the company as well believes that the the roofing contractor the natural progression for his business um, is to move into the solar space. Uh, there's no better time than to install a solar roof than when you're replacing the roof. Um, I think it can be argued that if you have an existing roof and you and you retroactively install solar panels, you're cutting significantly into the life of the shingles at that point uh, just by putting penetrations in that, that weren't there before. You, you're creating a point of weakness that, that wasn't there and wasn't designed to be there. Um, and historically, the, the UV panels... Uh, I'm sorry, the photovoltaic panels, the PV panels, should last about the same time as a, as a newly installed roof. So the time to install the product is at the point of sale when a roofing contractor makes a sale to a homeowner. That's when the, the, the most advantageous time for a homeowner to put these things on his roof is so it can be designed as part of the overall system, elongating the, the life of the roof, having it match the life of the, the, the electrical system that you're now going to supply. Um, so it, it just makes a lot of sense that the industry goes that way. It's also you're already, you know, you, you have a way to maximize your profits without adding any additional cost. You've got a salesman in the room already. You've already done your marketing. You've, 
all your fixed costs that you would have to, to sell a roof are already being considered. This is just an add-on, but it's a monumental add-on. It can more than double the profit of the job, uh, and I don't think that, you know, a skylight's going to do that. The, yeah. the, 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 the accessories were the, were the the upgrade of the year for a long time. <laughs> That's right. So the, the accessories of the past and, and the minimal amount of uh, revenue that or profit that they generated for the roofing contractor, while they were nice, pale in comparison to the opportunity that's being put in front of the of the roofing contractor today well out west solar's been such a such a driver for that market and now it's starting to move further east it, but what was funny the more i listen to these guys talk is the solar guys were very like almost at odds with the roofing contractor and the roofing contractor they get annoyed at the solar guys because they're going to void the warranty of the roof once they install it so in all reality like we got to like stop this this whole back and forth and it's going to start to become a more mainstream thing especially now that solar has become uh so much more affordable and now it's almost to the point to where you're either going to make your solar payment or you're going to make your energy payment. energy payment and if it's a wash why wouldn't you exactly anything anything above and beyond that is gravy uh certainly that's the well, case once it's paid off it's paid off right. now you got free energy you don't pay an electric bill that's correct you just save that homeowner a ton of money but that's never been the thought process for contractors i feel like for the longest time it's just like oh i mean i can't imagine another promise too that we we're so especially out in the in the midwest and further east we're so in the insurance restoration mindset that we sometimes forget that people can afford to pay for things on their house. Yeah. Like insurance companies don't have to pay for a roof every single time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, certainly. And not only that, we've, we've seen a huge movement from the uh, restoration roofing contractors yeah, it's a great to upsell, to yeah. upsell anything, to upsell to higher grade of shingles, to lots of add-ons. Well, so higher grade of shingles or solar shingles or yeah, solar no, certainly. panels. That, and that's where I was headed with that is that, um, the mentality of upgrading started a few years ago. This is just the biggest upgrade that, that possibly can exist. And so kind of what we've done uh, at Eagle View and, and why we are so uniquely qualified for this is that <clears throat> the roof reports that we've created forever, um, the three dimensions that we're able to measure things in and, and look at, there's only some subtle differences that, that we can make that people that supply satellite photography can't do. Um, first of all, the, the number of pixels per square inch don't pick up the penetrations that are necessary that we can pick up with aerial imagery. And the dimensions, the, th the three dimensions and being extremely accurate and being able to pick up the pitch are nuances that, that we're really uniquely qualified for, as we've discussed. So <clears throat> with the difference, the main differences between um, Eagle View's Essentials Plus, which is our solar report that we, that we currently have available, and an Eagle View roof report is very subtle. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is that it does include penetrations. So if you are a roofing contractor and you're trying to, or if you're a solar contractor, a roofing contractor that's in the solar business, um, that's trying to create a, a system to be installed on that roof and where the PV panels are going to be placed for maximum efficiency, um, if you try to do that from a satellite image, you may put a panel right over where there's a where there's a penetration or a vent that, that doesn't exist. Right. And so now you've created a system, you've sold the homeowner on the idea that this many panels will create this many kilowatt hours of energy. You get a subsidy from the government signed off on, now you run and, and you go to create the system. Well, as the as builts will now show you, there's a penetration there, you can't get as many panels. The number of kilowatt hours that you originally sold to the homeowner aren't there. And the process of now designing a system that has the as-builts considered and actual measurements and everything developed from a, from a site visit, that, that situation is known as a true-up in the okay. industry right now. Okay, And so what Eagle View has done is we've eliminated a large percentage Which, of— Which, by the way, just how long does that take to have to go back and fix that? You know, I'm— <laughs> I have to confess, I've never been a, a contractor in this regard, but I've been told it can take anywhere from two weeks to seven weeks. Right, you know, to go I mean, back and fix that and, mistake that happens because of just yeah, not having and, the right data. And it gets longer if you have a government subsidy involved right. because now you got to get reacquainted with them to, to make sure that they sign off on it again this next time to make the finances work. So it's a big deal. Um, the other nuances that the Eagle View Essentials Plus provides is that 
<clears throat> in addition to the, the penetrations, we also will give you the pitch of the roof. Instead of rise over run, we'll give it to you in degrees, which is how the solar industry works. So the, you know, a 12-12 pitch is referred to as a 45 degree pitch uh, in the solar world. And as such, you know, sub subsequently as it changes, so it goes. And then the last thing is, is that we tell you the degree on the azimuth um, what degree from the sun it faces. So if a facet faces due south, it's at 180 degrees. <clears throat> and from that, you can distinguish an awful lot about what the, the kilowatt hours that are going to be produced because of how much sun it's going to get. So the current product that we have um, delivers a lot more than what any, any other product on the market can deliver to help this true up period. So in a nutshell, where our value is, is the difference and the headaches that go along with those two to it's seven better weeks. Data. It's better data. Yeah. It's better data, and it eliminates a lot of the headaches in those two to seven weeks and reduces that time frame to a manageable number that doesn't change your original design and what you originally sold the job for to the homeowner and force you into an embarrassing situation where you can't deliver what you may have stated that you could. Yeah, so it's really – it starts the process on a better foot, gives them better information, better, better uh, reports that then – allow them to move a lot faster, which in all reality, like this is step one of getting into solar. No question. No yeah. question. Being able to estimate accurately is, is the key. The other thing that our solar report does is we can deliver it to you in a DXF file. Okay. Um, and, and that's... What's the DXF file? The DXF file allows you to suck the report in instead of taking a PDF the way that most people right. take our roof reports now. Um, it delivers the three-dimensional model into, into AutoCAD. Okay. So if you have an AutoCAD system and that's how you're designing your solar system... Which either, is probably what the industry standard it, it's is. It's the industry standard. So yeah. either you're doing it in-house or there's a, there's a third-party provider that will do solar. The manufacturer, the, whoever. Well, yeah. it, could be, it can dealer. be distributor. Yeah. It can be manufacturer sometimes. Um, but there's no better source because that DXF file will also include the penetrations. It will include all the information we just talked about. And so you can build the system without having to redraw the entire house in AutoCAD as your starting point. That speeds up the design process. So you can that many, you know, you can have that many more people out selling with less designers on staff because the amount of time it takes a designer to to, to build the system off of our pre-generated report is minimal. That's that's revolutionary though, and it's changing the solar game. So how how are solar contractors taking your report now? How do they feel about it? <clears throat> so it's it's interesting. Um, it's kind of similar to how we started in roof reports on the construction side. Uh, the easier the people who understand it and the people who really get a, get the essence of it are are the the enterprises and the people who really pay attention to to what the savings are at, at very micro levels. So the more detail oriented about how efficient they're becoming, the more apt they are to be doing business with us. So the biggest the biggest people in the industry right now, um, you know significant number of those brands are already Eagle View users, and they're using us 100% of the time on, on every job that they're estimating. Uh, getting that information to roofing contractors is now my job. Okay. So we, this is a new direction for us in 2021, um, and we really want to make sure that the roofing community knows that this is the next move in terms of not just continuing your business, but building your business uh, growing to the level that you want to grow, really without that much more work, just more revenue. Yeah, no, and that makes a lot of sense. It's such a, it's just such an easy add-on for us as roofing contractors. Correct. Um, and it's funny to watch how, how much faster the solar industry is moving right now. I mean, it's technology based. It's like, it's we're we're melding together Silicon Valley like tech companies and roofing contractors now, with with large amounts of profit and yeah. and and it's like gasoline on a fire when it's you have insane. those three things going. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's it kind of reminds me of when like early two thousands when insurance restoration started to become a really big thing yeah. and how quickly it exploded the industry from. I mean when we got into this, I remember my dad talks about like in the eighties and nineties when he was doing exactimate work and how different it was there was no i mean three trades you got omp everything was super easy everything was great and then it became what it is today because it's exploded so much as an industry and i feel like we're in the very beginning stages of the same thing again but with solar yeah no we i would say we're at stage two okay. um, but i think there's 10 stages ahead of us yeah and i think for the next six or seven of them we're going to have that those same types of profit margins if we play our cards right as an industry um before things 
you know, as time goes on and everybody gets more efficient, then, then things dwindle down as we're now seeing in the yeah. in, in, in other parts of our industry. So uh, it really is the long dollar. Do you the, think that a roofing contractor that doesn't do solar is going to really regret it? Absolutely. Uh, I, yes. <laughs> I, you know, I, and it's it's going this way. And it, the, the irony is, is that it isn't even a retro business. I mean, in California, the law is if you're building a new home, new construction. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, the efficiencies that that new construction contractors, forget the insurance business for a minute, and just think about the people out there that are that are getting paid by, you know, by, by builders that, that squeeze the nickel off of every, you know, squeeze the buffalo off every nickel that goes in their pocket. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because the margins are so skinny. The slim. margins are so skinny for them, and they don't get to control the sale price. So right. the only thing they can control is that um, now all of a sudden you, you've got – the efficiencies that you can create if you're that guy, you now can put solar into that mix and and put more margin into your pocket and give the builder something tangible to sell. Mm-hmm. So the value of the home becomes more. And that's true when, when our retro guys are selling to homeowners as well. If you're selling a new roof at the same time that you're selling a, a, a new system, you've got 20 years or more ahead of you of well, in value. Cal- in California, they're selling a... They're selling it as, as a solar system with a new, with a free roof. I'm serious. <laughs> no, this yeah, is the sales pitch, and, and and you should because the solar system is more valuable, right? In terms of what the installation costs and the profits are, than the roof is. So it makes all the sense in the world that they would do that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a whole new world, and uh, it's exciting. It is so exciting. It's so exciting. it's so exciting. Yeah, and to and to watch this this revolution begin, and it's like. We're just kind of at the very beginning, I feel. No, we're, we're in, in... Well, at least out west. Like, or out east, I mean. Out west, it's like they've been kicking this thing around for a few years They now. have, but but the roofing community hasn't gotten involved. Only, right. I mean, the roofing community has been... Their involvement up but to this point... But the roofing community in, in California is completely different than the roofing community here. No question. You, the, the number of restoration contractors and... The, and, and they're, they don't, they're not they don't exist. Yeah. No, no question. And a roof lasts a lot longer in Southern California yeah, than it, it does in rain. most places, right? But the population, <laughs> so they even know if it's the is still so significant that Correct. the roofs do get done. Yeah, yeah, they do. And and when they get done, they're usually done with with more valuable products. I mean, mm-hmm. you get a lot more barrel tile and things like that in markets like that. And the amount of money that the, the people have out there is significantly different, just based on the cost of housing alone. So they they put the extra money into their house because the value of the asset is so great to begin with. So as a percentage of the overall cost of their structure, we're not talking about as much money as you might be in other parts of the country, which makes it even more enticing to them. Um, I'm just looking forward to the day that the roofing contractor starts to take advantage of this and doesn't become the subcontractor to the to the people who are, are I agree. you know, doing the solar installs. I know. agree. And, and I think that uh, this is the first conversation of many that we're going to have. And we're going to try to bring as much information on this to the contractors over the course of the next months, years. I don't know how long we're, we'll be talking about solar, but we're going to definitely try to bring way more education about solar. In fact, if, if a contractor is watching this right now and you're thinking, hey, I really want to get involved in, sh- in solar, uh, Eagle View is a great place to start. Certainly, it's a great place to start. Um, we, we've got we've got a, a significant amount of talent. We've hired a lot of people from the solar industry to come in and 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 really kind of help us develop the product. Yeah, they're heavily involved in every nuance of how the product was designed, how it's to be built, where it's going to be marketed, so on and so forth. Um, but we also know that our bread and butter, our uh, the long the long ball for our our business is with our existing customer base and anything we can do to help build their business is only going to benefit us in the long run. So definitely get in touch with Alan and his Please. team at Eagle View. Uh, start looking at, buy a, buy a couple solar reports just for fun. Just learn about it. Yeah. Become educated on, on what all these terms mean and, and start to uh, uh, familiar familiarize yourself with it. Even if you're not selling solar, just to give yourself a, an edge over your competition and start that process. No question about it. E- everything that is on the, the uh, roof report that everybody's become so familiar with is also on our solar report. I think that the difference is roughly ten dollars more yeah. for the solar report. So for ten dollars more, if nothing else, you're, you're going to get the penetrations you weren't getting before. Yeah, that they're included, but you'll also get to see what we're talking about. Yeah, and, and learn about this. It. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in fact, I'm going to create a link for those of you guys watching. Check out the description of this video. Uh, there's a link to a page for ACS. If you're interested in learning more about solar, uh, fill out the form, and I'll I'll make sure to get some more information to you 
uh, from ACS directly and try to connect with you on your business and what you're trying to achieve as far as solar goes. Because I'm sure that we're, we're going to be able to, in the future here, provide you with some more information and more resources to help grow the solar part division of your business. And that's something that we're committed to he, here at ACS. So, Alan, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Dude, it's a lifelong dream of mine, John. I just love being <laughs> Come here. On, whatever. <laughs> no, it's it's good to have you. And, you know, we appreciate the industry appreciates Eagle View. You guys do a great job. And, um, you know, bringing this new technology and new reports to to us is is going to be a game changer for sure. Cool. Well, we're we, we're here to support the industry. That's you know, I, I, I that's evident. We say internally at Eagle View, we we talk, we discuss this as part of our culture. Yeah. We are we are not tourists. We are residents in the roofing industry. We are not a technology company passing through and and looking to sell off our company or do other things. We're here to support this business as long as we possibly can with as much effort. And we sit on boards of directors of the, the industries. We we sit on the we sit on the board of of the. Uh, in our CA, we we are committed to the industry. We want to be here, and we want to be the, the support, part of the support that builds this industry for strength long term. I appreciate that. Folks, go check them out. Go to eagleview.com. Uh, if you go to a trade show, stop by their booth, get to know them. They're, they're doing a lot of stuff, and they have some great resources to really help you grow your business. So thank you so much, Alan. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks so much for watching today's show. Make sure to like and subscribe our pages so that you can stay up to date with every episode. And by the way, this show is all about you, the American contractor. Be sure to comment, let us know what you want to hear about and what subjects you want us to touch on. We'll be sure to include them in a future episode. Thanks again and I hope you have a great day.